Hey folks, in this video, we're going to be learning how to return multiple results with VLOOKUP in Google Sheets. This solution only works for Google Sheets, so if you're using Excel, I apologize, but this video will not be able to help you. What we're looking at here is a small table with three fields. The first field is a name, and then the other two are associated values. So what we're going to be doing is using a name to return both values. I'm going to set up a faux uh, environment over here where I will be typing the name. Uh, so I'll do it below that field. Uh, let's start with Robert. So if we just use a standard VLOOKUP, we would uh, use the equal sign in cell F2 and then start typing out the VLOOKUP function name. VLOOKUP takes uh, four arguments. Uh, three are mandatory, one is optional. The first uh, argument is the search key, which in this case is the person's name. So we're going to select Robert. Uh, we'll add a comma, and then we will move into the second argument. We are going to highlight the entire range with our data. In this case, it is columns A through C. We're going to add a comma. We'll move to the final mandatory argument, which is the index or the column or field that you want to return. So in this case, we are going to type in column two, and you can see that we are getting an early indication of what our result will be, which is the second column next to Robert there. We're going to add a comma for the final argument. This decides whether or not it's sorted. So this is helpful if you have multiple instances of a name and you want to return the first result or the last result or something like that. So I'm going to type in false. I'm going to hit enter, and now we are getting that result. So if you wanted to return multiple results, uh, you might use uh, multiple VLOOKUPs going horizontally. There's another way that you can do that. Uh, you can use array formula. So I'm on a Mac. I'm going to give you my keyboard shortcuts. I apologize if you're on a Windows and this doesn't work. I would assume that every time that I say command, it is the control key for you, but I don't know that to be true. So I'm going to hit Command Enter to get a little line break here. You don't need that. I just like it for readability. We're going to be using a function called Array Formula. And this takes a single argument. So um, it enables the display of values returned from an array into multiple ro rows or columns and the use of non-array functions with arrays. So basically what that's saying is you can return multiple columns of results and uh, multiple rows of results. So in this case, we want to return multiple columns. So the way that you leverage array formula is by using curly brackets. So in our third argument, where we denote what field we want to return or what column we want to return, we're going to wrap it with curly brackets. And you can see that that is still returning the result of Metroid there. Um, but now what we have the ability to do is comma separate the fields. So I want to return fields two and three. So I am going to leverage my array formula so that I can use curly brackets in order to denote more than one column. So now that I have two and three within my array formula, it will return the second and third com column from my results. I'll hit enter. And now you can see that we are returning the second column, which is Metroid, and the third column, which is testing. So what we'll do now is we'll change it up, and instead of Robert, we'll do Amy, and now you can see that it has um, applied those same results. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to learn more about VLOOKUP, Google Sheets, Google Apps Scripts, automating data stuff, I have a ton of playlists on my channels. Think about subscribing. Hope you'll check out the next one.